Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Outer Plane on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Outer Plane and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Outer Plane. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all mates, the first thing to do is to open our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's go to that URL that I have highlighted in green. Now, you can see on the PC screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because I added a clickable link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We landed right here on our own website of Usitility, at which we get a detailed description on the way to download Outer Plane on personal computer. We scroll down a tad and simply click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we get to the website of BlueStacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will run to enjoy the game Outer Plane on the PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of pros of using this emulator. Now we are on the way to proceed to download the Outer Plane by clicking on this button play on BlueStacks that you can visualize here in green. We then click on the button. And the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we need to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We said yes. I minimize the web browser to view the installer better. The installer is straightforward. It includes two options, install, and setup path. I am going to explain what setup path actually does. We purely click on it. So we observe that we fay got here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be set up. If we wish to change this folder we must click on that browse option. Therefore we decide on another directory and set up the emulator precisely where we would like. I will set it where it is. Then, I click on back. So I pick install. Voila! The install starts and it is going to continue in the download of these megabytes that are shown on the computer screen. The moment you download it, it may be more or less MB. The data transfer speed could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your type of access to the web and according to the velocity of the emulator hosting servers. Today they are going super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been launched successfully. As you can observe, down here, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right so when it reaches the end, the emulator can be launched for the first time. The fact is the emulator was already launched, here for the first time. Before we carry on, as you can observe, it made two icons here on the PC desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks app icon is definitely the one we're concerned about. At any time when we need to run Outer Plane on the laptop or computer, we twice click on the specific app icon and therefore run the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we perform the next phase, that is a requirement, and that's to access the Google Play Store. And we will simply click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. There we are required to sign in. At this time as soon as we are on this page, we are required to do the next phase that is mandatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. At this moment it announces, checking info. It may once in a while get stuck in, checking info, additionally it doesn't move forward. If that's the case, you could try to connect to your account after a few hours and it will probably be corrected. At this moment we will type our email and password. The email must be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. As an example you could use the same exact email you are using at the moment in your own YouTube account. Therefore I will type in my details and I'll come back immediately after I have done it. That's it, details inserted. Below is Google welcoming us and providing us the terms of service. We would approve them by simply clicking, I agree. Following, it allow us to backup to the Google Cloud. You could let it checked and it will create a backup of your data on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you can make use of this feature if you want. We click on accept. Google Play Store is launched without need to open it manually and instantly. 
To set up the app game, we need to go to the emulator desktop for Android by left-clicking this app icon indicated green colored. Right now that we are watching the desktop of that emulator, we can see that we now have here the install game option. We click on this button. There we get the video game. How about we click on here on the install button that I am just highlighting now in green color. And this will begin the setup. Straight away it should download and install the game app. It may take a bit of time or perhaps it could also be very fast. That all is dependent upon on our connection to the internet. This has by then completed setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on that button that I'm presenting in green, in order to launch Outer Plane for the very first time. We're presently on the emulator desktop, then we're on the way to simply click on this new Outer Plane software icon which has been created. This video game is launched for the first time. Currently there we have it, I can mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume of that emulator, it is right here, we have the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This way we don't count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the max, we could switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. This is simply the first one, we just click on this particular icon that I'm designating in green color. And the display screen is maximized, getting one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Assuming that we really want to launch the video game using all the screen, we select this icon. And then we would probably by now be experiencing and enjoying the video game in 100% screen mode. To exit the full screen functionality, click the F11 key. And then we would undoubtedly by now play in normal display screen mode. At present, I am starting to clarify you the computer keyboard mapping that is actually very interesting. That way we will probably be in a position to play the game application more effortlessly. The first task is to press this computer keyboard icon. And here you will be able to complete the required controls. I'm going to leave the default settings, but if you intend to adjust this, you may very well do so without having problem. Obviously, the emulator is totally in our language. Occasionally it happens that the emulator is launched in the improper language, for example, in Japanese. And therefore to set it up in the correct language we browse here to the cogwheel. Then right here within additional controls, we simply click on the language, drop down. We could choose the language we need, Italian, Chinese, and so forth. After the language is determined, we would save, the emulator will reboot, along with the game app. Next time we use it, would of course be in the picked language. At present, there's another thing that we will need to take into consideration, and it is that we will receive an email telling you that a brand new device has been associated with this Google account. It will definitely check with us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Yup, we may not get worried, since the emulator is acting as in Google Android tablet or smartphone. In order to discover which electronic device is currently being emulated, we arrive here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Therefore we go here to the, model, selection. And right here we determine that the emulator is acting as a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for my training. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that you thought it was useful. If that's so, allow it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and any remarks, requests or suggestions, let them in the comment area down below. You could possibly also comment things on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams from time to time, you get it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click any of these videos which are usually showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the following instructional videos. Bye.